Hey guys, it's Cassie. Today I have a fragrance haul video to share with you guys. I've picked up five fragrances as well as four perfume oils that I'm super excited about. And before we get into this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and let me know your thoughts down below. Alright, so the first fragrance I picked up is from Elizabeth Arden and it's called White Tea Eau de Toilette and the bottle looks like this. So the top notes include sea notes, fern, mandarin orange, clary sage. Middle notes include white tea, white iris, mate. And the base notes include ambrette or musk mellow, exotic woods, tonka bean, and amber. And this combination is absolutely gorgeous. The scent is amazing. Um, it reminds me of my childhood actually. I remember there must have been like an air freshener or something that smelled similar to this that gives me that vibe and it just reminds me of my childhood. It smells so clean and fresh and it does have that white tea smell. It smells amazing. It smells so beautiful. Like I could wear this coming out of the shower. I feel like I would wear this in the spring and summer and it's just a light, fresh, airy scent. It's not something that would weigh you down or feel really heavy or... Uh, be problematic in an office setting or in a close encountered setting. I think this would be perfect actually. This is a gorgeous scent. The longevity is all right. It's nothing special. I'm, you definitely would have to top up with this. You couldn't just go the entire day, I don't think, and just be fine. Um, you definitely have to respray throughout the day. Which, that's okay with me. This is a very inexpensive perfume. It didn't break the bank. This is definitely an affordable fragrance if you're in the market for a spring or summer scent. Alright, so the next fragrance I have to share with you guys is called Prada Candy Eau de Parfum. And this is an old one. This is launched in 2011. And the notes include caramel as a top note. Middle notes are musk, powdery notes. Base notes are benzoin and vanilla. And let me just tell you, this fragrance is gorgeous. I remember smelling it way back in the day, and I actually had a ton of fragrance samples, so I never picked up the full bottle. And honestly, it wasn't it wasn't a favorite of mine back then for some reason, but now it really is, and I had to grab a full bottle. I also think one of the main reasons I picked this one up is just because I have so many memories from wearing it years ago that it's just, it brings happiness to me, and I enjoy it. It is absolutely stunning. Um, I definitely get the benzoin and the vanilla and the caramel, just all of it. It's a very sweet fragrance. If you like sweet fragrances, I think this is one you might be interested in adding to your collection. So the next fragrance I picked up is Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume. So I finally opted to pick up the full bottle. I had been nursing a travel spray for about a year and I do have an extensive fragrance collection, so it's not something that I was super urgent about picking up. Once my fragrance sample was running super low, I was like, no, I definitely got to pick up a bottle because I have to have it in my collection. So the notes in this fragrance include Ambroxan and Cetalox, and this is a molecule perfume. I actually do love this one. It's a very light perfume, and you may not even notice it, which is something that I enjoy about it. Um, if you've got someone in your life that doesn't really particularly enjoy fragrances, they may give them headaches or they may have allergies to fragrances and things like that, I would definitely opt for a fragrance like this. I think this would be excellent if you work in an office or a doctor's office, something where you've got to have a subdued scent on, nothing overpowering, nothing that's headache inducing. This would be right up your alley. Um, it's super light. I'll get whiffs of it every so often and it's just so pleasant. Oh, it just smells amazing. I like to wear Juliet has a gun after the shower or as a bedtime scent. I just find that it's very comforting and just soothing. I just really enjoy it. Makes me feel at ease, if that makes any sense to you. Moving on to the fourth fragrance. And this is Estee Lauder's Bronze Goddess Eau Fresh Skin Scent. And this is the 2019 edition. And this is what the bottle looks like. So this, you guys, is a gorgeous fragrance. And I think the bottle is, is beautiful as well. It's got this beautiful cap with some ribbed gold 
going all the way around and a teal accent at the base. And it's just super summery to me. It just absolutely screams summertime and it's gorgeous. Definitely a bottle for the name, Bronze Goddess. So the top note is bergamot, middle note, tiare flower, coconut, and the base notes are vanilla and amber. And this is just a beautiful summer scent. Like I am envisioning myself laying out on the beach, just, ugh. It just smells amazing. And funny enough, it actually reminds me a ton of Guerlain's Terracotta Le Parfum. And I actually have that one right here. The only difference is I think that the Jasmine is more prominent. I wanted to bring up those notes just to kind of compare. So the notes in Guerlain Terracotta Le Parfum, the top note is Thierry Flower, Coconut, Bergamot. And so we've got some three similar notes already to the Bronze Goddess. The middle notes in Guerlain is Jasmine, Ylang Ylang, Orange Blossom, and the base note is Vanilla and Musk. So definitely got some overlapping notes in both fragrances, but for sure I think in Guerlain I'm getting that Jasmine. That's really what's, what's getting me, what I'm detecting the most. So that is where they differ, I believe. You may not need both in your collection. However, I do because I'm a hardcore fragrance junkie. So I had to have both. But honestly, you may just want to pick one. I don't even know which one I prefer. I think possibly that the Bronze Goddess is a little bit more wearable and universally could be universally liked. They just both smell very sophisticated. Um, so I really, really am excited about Bronze Goddess. So last of the bottles that I picked up is Outremer's Vanille Eau de Toilette. I believe that's how you pronounce it. So this one is pretty simple. It's a great vanilla fragrance that's great for layering and or just wearing on its own if you so desire. Um, the notes include vanilla and cotton candy. And I definitely get the vanilla as well as the cotton candy. It's definitely a sweet, sweet vanilla. It's not a, I wouldn't describe this as a woody vanilla whatsoever. It actually reminds me a lot of Molinard's Vanille. Yes. It reminds me a lot of that, and it also reminds me of Montal's Vanille Absolu, um, which I do have both of those in my collection as well. So, not sure that I needed to add this one, but I did anyway. And funny thing is, I actually picked up a, a backup bottle of this, and this was a blind buy to me. I think it is blind buy worthy just because it's a sweet vanilla. I mean, if you don't like sweet vanillas and if you don't like sweet fragrances, I would say definitely give this a pass. But if you're a vanilla fan, you might want to check it out. And not to mention, it is extremely inexpensive. You can find this at Anthropology for $18. Um, I paid $22 for a 100ml bottle, not from Anthropology, from a different site. I know that on Anthropology, that one's frequently not in stock if you try to order it online. However, they do typically have it in store. Um, I don't know about you, though, but I'm not really leaving the house too much so and this one has great lasting power on me I applied it before I went to bed last night and when I woke up this morning I could still smell it on me so that's a great sign good lasting power for an eau de toilette is impressive to me I wouldn't say that this is a beast mode fragrance whatsoever it's definitely on the lesser projecting side so this is nothing groundbreaking or super unique but it is a nice cheap vanilla fragrance if you're in the market. And last but not least are the four fragrance oils that I picked up. And the first one I'm going to start off with is Vanille. And these are all four from Outremer Paris as well. So these are their concentrated perfume oils. Extrait de Parfum to be exact. All of these bottles are 12 milliliters. So as expected, this has the same fragrance as the Vanille Eau de Toilette that I mentioned just prior. 
this is great for layering. So this would be a great addition to bump up or boost the vanilla fragrance in whatever perfume that you're wearing, or even just adding in a vanilla fragrance to whichever perfume layering combo you've got going on. And these are super inexpensive, by the way. I believe it was, each one was about $10 a piece, $9.99, something like that. So the next oil I have here is called Lavande. Lavande. It's obviously supposed to be lavender, but I don't know the French pronunciation. This smells exactly like what you would expect. It smells like lavender oil. And I remember I used to dabble with essential oils back in the day, and I had lavender, and this smells exactly like that. The third oil that I have here is the rose scent, and it smells exactly like roses. One might describe it as sort of a grandma-y rose, and if you're not into that, then this is definitely not for you. However, I do enjoy the scent of rose. I have quite a number of rose perfumes in my fragrance collection. Um, and I figured this would be great to kind of, like I said, help extend the life of my rose fragrances and or add rose fragrance to a layering combination of whatever I choose. These oils are very long lasting. I have tried this rose one out. I tried this one earlier today, um, this morning, and it's still on me. I can still smell it all over my wrists, so it is very long lasting. That is a great feature about these oils, I will say. So the last and final fragrance oil that I have to share with you all is Bergamot Perfume Extract. And this one smells so reminiscent of a product that Burt's Bees used to make. They may still make it, I don't know, and I can't even remember what the product was, to be honest. I had a ton of their products back in the day, but it really gives me Burt's Bees vibes, and it smells really good. If you're in the market for a bergamot scent, definitely check this one out. So I had a blast making this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And I'm curious, have you guys picked up any new fragrances? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and as always, have a good one, guys.